My name's Steve Cutts. I'm the uh, Assistant Secretary General for Central Support Services in the Secretariat. And you can hear big crashing behind me, which shows exactly where we are. It was always built as a temporary structure, and the General Assembly has affirmed and reaffirmed that they wanted to see this gone, and they wanted to see that lovely lawn restored. It looks as if, from the outside, there hasn't been that much progress made, but then you pop around the corner and you can see that it's basically a shell now. Yes, in, in, indeed, this was one of the comments that people were making, was, are you really making that much progress in the demolition, given the fact that until a few weeks ago, nothing seemed to be changing much on the outside of the building? But that, of course, was a, a deliberate uh, reason in terms of this is still a, a functioning site, of course, and the rest of the UN business takes place. And by leaving the shell up, you minimise the noise, you minimise the dust, and as well, of course, it, it maintains aesthetically better view for as long as possible. One of the things which we did here with the Northorn building and its demolition, of course, we've stored and we've had in many cases restored many of the exhibits that were there before and those are all now going to go back onto the, um, the lawn when it comes back. They're all being brought back to their original locations. So a final slightly surreal site here, it's a, a chunk of the Berlin Wall I believe. Quite a fitting uh, site in the, in the midst of this demolition that's going on around it. It probably feels quite at home there. It probably does, I mean it's obviously uh, a relic of a former demolition and uh, I, I can reassure people though we're not planning on salvaging any part of the uh, North Lawn building and making it a memorial. I feel that it was an incredibly useful building while we had it and gave us a lot of flexibility so in that regard I'll miss it but as a building I don't think it's the kind of building one can have a great emotional attachment to.